Hi everybody, my name is Richard and about a year ago I made a video on how I made a straight edge jig for pallet wood to use with my table saw and um, uh, Jamie Banks made a comment about um, how to make my design a little bit better and uh, the suggestion from Jamie was to uh, have a T-track uh, in the middle of my uh, jig and use just two clamps that might swivel from side to side. So if you haven't seen my first video on how I made this straight edge jig, uh, I'll put another link into the description. Uh, that way you can watch that and kind of see the difference here. But, but basically another quick description of what I've done is uh, this uh, piece right here is about nine inches wide. And I think this is like two and a half. And then on this side, it's uh, about four and a half or so. And then this is just a two inch strip. So I uh, initially had four toggle clamps, uh, two facing each direction. And I've already taken off the one down at the end because I'm uh, playing with how it's going to work. So, uh, but basically what would happen is uh, if, if you have a pallet piece that's like, to me, more or less a normal width, uh, three and a half inches or so, uh, you put it on this side and then when you clamp it down, it's got enough support under here so it won't wobble whenever it uh, goes through the uh, table saw the first time. And then you would take it off and turn it around and then run it through with the fence to make a, a straight edge on the uh, other side. Now, what was special about mine, I wanted to be able to support wider pieces as well. So this one is wider for wider pieces here. Again, you toggle it uh, down and clamp it. And I like I said, it just has more support under this section here when you run it through the table saw for the first cut. So Jamie Banks made a suggestion that in this design, perhaps maybe I could have a T-track in the middle and have maybe a swivel that goes back and forth so I can just use two clamps but um, I couldn't find a swivel but I did find a T-track I'm going to put in and then I'm going to use this. Uh, this little bracket right here fits onto the toggle clamp and I got the T-track and this little clamp set from Rockler. I'm not going to go through every step of <laughs> taking the board off and using the dado set. I'm just going to show you my idea and show you what it turned out to be. Okay, so I'm almost finished here. I took off this middle piece. It was just screwed down and uh, took that off, uh, ran it through uh, my dado set, put a three-quarter inch groove in there for the T-Track, uh, screwed that down inside there, uh, just put this middle piece back down in the middle where it was and uh, put screws on each side. So I wanted to show you a little bit more detail about this uh, bracket set. Uh, this is from Rockler, toggle clamp mounting plate. It comes with all the pieces that you need. This is uh, the bracket. It has a, a different uh, grooves here and I had to use these two for my toggle clamp. Uh, but you can see how they're concave in there and then these little screws go down in there. So this is the underside here. So you turn it upside down and put your clamp on there. Screw it all down and uh, then it slides into your track. Okay, I have both brackets put together and uh, so the bolt under here just fits into the track. And another thing that I do like about this is it's, it's kind of adjustable in a sense that uh, depending on how long your board is on the jig, you can adjust where uh, these guys sit and then you can adjust um, how thick your board is. Uh, one of the things that, uh, as a reminder from my other video, the uh, original foot that came with the toggle clamp uh, was pretty short and the thinner your board was, then this didn't really help much. So uh, I bought three inch carriage bolts and this is a rubber foot uh, from a table leg or something like that and it just fits right inside there. And um, the other problem I was having was whenever I need this foot to go down a little bit lower, or I'm sorry, up a little bit higher, I was always uh, having to adjust this nut down in here and this part got in the way. So this time I actually cut down the foot just a little bit and um, I'm thinking this is a lot better. So if I need to work on the side with the wider boards, I'll use this here, but if I need to pull it off, and then slide it into the 
track with the toggle the other direction and then I can use the side with the more narrow boards. I hope this gives you some ideas on the things that you'd like to build and as always if you like my videos please subscribe and please leave a comment or suggestion I appreciate that too. Take care, have fun. Thank you.